Alright, so Sebastian is doing his little buoy. Bowie, buoy. Horse heat treat grinding. This is the first time you did it, right? After the heat treat? Right. The other one you didn't do yet. Okay. So it's He's doing good so far. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good grinder and he has some, somehow, somewhat of a guidance here. So I think he's gonna be just fine. And he's seen Jeff do this many, many times. Looks simple when he does it. <laughs> Everything looks easier when somebody else does it. No, you're doing good, man. You're doing good. You guess you take a little more, or that's enough? Should I leave it like that for now? It really depends if you're gonna go for the convex or if you wanna leave it flat. If you wanna go for convex, then that's enough. But you see, you change the angle. When you, when you brought the tip, you brought it too much. What you want to try to do is get the guide of your grind, of your angle on the beginning. You don't even have to press and just follow it. Because when you start here, you don't really have yeah. that feel for what is the real flat, what you already have. So you see, that's why this is, it starts off here, but then it goes there because the angle oh, changes. Oh, that's what I want. It's a nightmare grind. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Also another, let me give you one more pointer, another nice kind of visual help for that is when you have it here, you see how far that edge is from the bell. So if you already like you see this one actually already yeah, has already a bird you yeah. already you already took it too, too much, much yeah. so you can get, kind of see by the the little microscopic distance from the belt to the edge like if you already are too far in or if you you know if you're too far like that mm -hmm. if it's just riding if it's just riding that thing without actually taking off too much you kind of like yeah, like you see, it kind of looks like there is a small little space right now, which is good. But on the tip, you already are all the way in the, the edges, all the way in the belt. It, it just comes, but I think you're doing good. It's not that simple. It's hard. It's one of those things you just have to try and do it. Like, you, like yeah, yeah, I, don't, I don't have a feeling for that yet, you know? That's a little more equal I now. I think you're doing pretty damn good for no feeling. <laughs> it's a nice, you have nice straight line. You're doing good, man. Thank you. And you don't have to press too much. You can, you know, press a little less. It's a little less forgiving. If you make a mistake, it doesn't have such an impact, impact on the on the field then. Let's see what is Jeff doing. Jeff, you doing any secrets or no? Any secret projects that cannot be seen? Are you, are you filming this right now? Yes. Yeah, I prefer if you didn't. Huh? Don't. Why? I'm doing some secret projects. Oh, Jeff is doing some secret stuff. Jeff thinks he's like 007. Here's a I brought my stuff to show guys. What else is here? Yeah. We're gonna have some good day today. So Sebastian is getting closer and closer with the finish. He did decide to go full height, which is pretty nice. He did a good job. Now he's screening it. This is one of the final belts. I know it's Mark 120, but this feels it's maybe some other number 120. It feels much, much finer than 120.
and it's a nice super slow speed so we can just take care of the cleaning because the initial grind is there already what he wants and it is it looks like it's cleaning nicely I like it I'm so proud of him <laughs> I was telling him the trick like sometimes it's kind of hard to clean that this area right by the plunge line like right here it just sometimes doesn't want to bite into it so you tilt the knife you angle it a little bit so you use that very edge of the belt that's what lets you clean that section there even still on my knife sometimes you see that's like the kind of critical area let me show you like here this is Jeff's but this area here sometimes you're gonna see even on my knife still see the kind of like a little deeper grind line it's just because that area is harder to get to if you would really study some of my knives you're still gonna see that does it happen to you, Jeff? No? No, I'm perfect. Everything I do is perfect. <laughs> 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 troll. Very <laughs> troll. Yep. I knew that. <laughs> Alright, guys. We'll see you soon with probably doing starting the handle very soon, it looks like. I'm excited. Yeah, I think I can't it's good, wait huh? to see. Yeah, I think it's nice. Let me Maybe show it on the camera. The Just show them how nice the grind lines already are look at that what is a if you don't leave it focuses it actually looks like mirror polish almost on the camera just because of the light but it's just a nice super super fine very fine side and finish i like that I think we don't even have to do there's some minor these are like the things that you notice when you know what it is actually these are just the re resemblance of the first original, original deeper grind lines. They always, I st oh, there's another thing, I still have ones in a while. You see them here? Yeah. I don't think we can see them on the camera. You see them. you feel them too? You very rarely you feel them. Yeah, you don't Just feel them. visual. Sometimes it bugs me, then I remember that I don't really care about those little things when I make knives. It's just the look. But it's one of those things like. I think the only, only way to do it is you spend more time doing in grinding with the middle step. Remember the 120 grit we jumped to yeah. from uh, from the 50? A little more cleaning with that. But it's hard because even I don't know how long do I have to do it. Still, I still have those grind lines. So I guess it's also how lucky you get because sometimes it just, you know, it's maybe just a couple scratches you just hit like one big stone on the belt and that's what caused it and you don't really see it with all the other grind hands Un unless you actually move to this final belt that's when you start seeing them and if you want to get rid of it now you have to scrub all that and go back to the rough grind again mm -hmm. so it's kind of like is it worth it not really so you I'll, wanna... I'll keep them yeah I, that's what I do. Is it just yeah, not worth the, it? For the Unless you're doing the pre a... presentation on knife, it's really not worth it to spend all that work. For the first time, it's extremely happy. Oh, dude, it looks like 100 times better than my first knife. <laughs> you probably didn't have you next to you, correct? <laughs> like I have you. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I did have me next to me <laughs> when I did my <laughs> first knife. <laughs> and nobody else. <laughs> hey, good times. Yeah, I guess it's I'm fun. unlucky. I don't know. I think a lot of people will disagree with you. <laughs> it looks yeah. great, man. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with the handle. So we'll see you soon with the handle. All right, guys. So here's the final stage. Oh, let's do it. I play the music. Sing. Huh? Sing. We're gonna do the tough times shit. Sing. There's always a music on the background of tough times videos, no? So sing, motherfucker. <laughs> let's do something from your your your, your native homeland. <laughs> so here's the tip. Dude, I'm so freaking <laughs> proud of Sebastian. Check that out. That's freaking gorgeous. Man. Look at that. Super clean. Super nice. 
Even the grinds, like dude, if I made the first knife and it looked like this, I would be the proudest motherfucker. <laughs> I'm very proud. I'll it's never, beautiful, never, man. Never be able to do that without you guys. We're gonna sell in a few days. <laughs> <laughs> no, you never sell the first knife. I, I, I still keep my first knife. This is beautiful, man. I'm not making it to sell it. Look man. at that. Like really nice satin finish on it. Very, very... Very uniform. Actually, even the grind, like, look at the relief. Like, it's actually, like, it's almost, it's like, it's probably better, more perfect than my, uh, this plunge lines or whatever it is. Still. I'm and still. he didn't even have to hide it in the sharpening notch yet. <laughs> I will, I will. It's near that. Tomorrow. Wicked edge. Look at that vicious tip. It's not sharpened yet, it's sharp. It's probably sharper than most people's knives, but it's just still just comparing to the Eugene. Oh yeah, it is a small little buoy. It's actually it's very comfortable in the hand. They have very positive lug on it. Very nice, you know, this curve for the three back back fingers, thumb rim right there. This is the first one you did or the second one? First one. First. So this is the first first from. Yeah. Man, it's nice. It's freaking gorgeous. So let me see something. Hold this paper for me. No, it's not not sharp yet. It's like a uh, tough thumb sharp. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Jeff is like really mad now. <laughs> he did such a nice job, guys. I'm so proud of him. It's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Yeah, you helped me with the grind and. I helped him a little bit with the, the grind and Jeff with the hand. It was much, nice. It not was much. We didn't really. I mean, it was more like just, little, we just gave it was more like just, a little push, you know, like that's. Yeah, it. we just like. Kind of, he did, he actually did like, everything. We just like told, told him. Navigate, navigate. Look at that pattern. Navigate, yeah. I, I basically walked him through. We were like a GPS pattern. of knife making, actually. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> the pattern looks great, though. Like, yeah, it's really amazing. Good. It's beautiful. You get the lighting on Is that, it. That's a red and black G10, right? Yep. It's really freaking cool. It looks nice, man. Good, good on you, bro. I'm happy for you. Thank you, guys. And don't cut yourself. 